How was your Bangalore experience with uh, Stelta and Bindwell? Overall, it was quite a good experience. The program was uh, quite organized. We spent time with almost all the teams. It was amazing, man. Like, you know, when you think about a 40 by 30 book, you might just not get a feeling that it requires at most like 10, 15 meters machines to make, just make that book. Well, when we were at Bindwell, we got to interact with all the departments. Like, I think it was structured so nicely that we weren't, uh, like constrained to a particular department we we got to explore each department we got to interact with them and while doing that while doing a docu while doing the documentation we got to know how an industry really works so at stelda we i got to know more about design how a machine is actually designed what's the first step and how do we come about with a prototype where do we start and where do we end what was your most surprising or wow moment there uh like basically one of the thing was like like everyone know knew how to assemble things and they don't, don't need to refer anything they just memorize all the machine how it should be assembled so it was surprising the surprise was like when i was uh, interacting with one of the design members like i thought like one machine like one machine like trimit machine which is that big maybe i should talk to three four members to understand the whole thing but I was with Sharad sir and uh, totally explained like what are the features, how does it work and everything. So I was with the shop day, just one person can manage a machine. I was under, uh, like I was with uh, a person and I was working with him. I used to call him sir, 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 this, sir, that. And we just went to talk once and I came to know he is 19 years old. I am 21 years old. So I was shocked and he was well versed completely like an experience. He knew all the tools. He all he knew all the components. He was the same as any experienced fellow there. Like he was able to name everything and he helped me a lot. So I still called him sir only after that. <laughs> Did you do for your project? So my project is a add on to Tremit machine. Uh, it is like a, a stacker machine to be add. Why? Because you know, uh, at the end of the trimming, a man should be uh, and then he should stack it manually. First of all, it is labor intensive and also it is inconsistent. It can be done. So the problem statement uh, given to me was that uh, there is a company uh, which needs uh, needs us to package uh, mono cartons. So mono cartons are basically we have a product and there's a primary carton in which the product goes. So we have to fill this uh, carton with this mono, uh, with this product. This was this was I think the most uh, the best learning experience I could get since I I wanted to know from the start how do we make a machine. Uh, it doesn't matter if the organization is small or large. If the learning experience is good, like they needs hands-on experience and what they want to do and how the industry really works, mm. they need to know that. Uh, in the large form, they may not get to interact with all the departments, but here we have the opportunity to interact with all the departments, seniors, we can approach them. It was able to give us enough exposure because if it was a, if uh, there was a chance we could have been neglected or maybe constrained to a particular department and you do it like this. But since uh, we were able to interact with almost everyone in the company because of its size and almost everyone uh, told us something new which we got to learn so that that is a great thing basically what knowledge do we we get in institute is like it is very basic and here most of the applications can be seen in the company actually so that's what actually interests me uh, the application side which um, like how the industry works and how it makes it. to chandu sir i have pitched like more than 10 ideas for this machine we can do it like this, we can do it like this. He never said that you know, it is wrong, but he said you can make it better, you can do it this way. It feels good when you do something from scratch and finally it starts working. <laughs> so, I, I enjoyed the freedom of choosing what we want to do. There, there are courses we have done, but after seeing it, I can see its application or how important these are. They were boring for me when I was learning them, but while after coming here, I, I understood the importance of it. So it actually reignited that interest in that course that maybe I should go overview it again. So it is actually very interesting like seeing it first hand and then the 
since this uh, company has uh, all the the assembly department or quality control department it, it is for me i think it is a basically a core company so we will get that uh, uh, application based knowledge more rather than theoretical one thing that i felt is to know things a bit more clear in more depth way like few things matter most like uh, one example sir you just if the grain direction just the uh, is diff is different from what the machine was supposed to the whole machine just work, can't work properly the whole binding won't be done properly so i thought maybe you should like look at things more deeply rather than just giving an overview if you want to like look, do more in that okay i think from the mechanical core perspective our companies would be able to like uh, give a lot of experience to, uh, to us like i i personally i am interested in core mechanical so i got more attached to it like i am i got more involved and i think now i will be i will move forward with something in manufacturing what, do, what kind of a machine will you build i think uh, i think i can build anything actually like after making one machine of my own i think oh boy uh, only thing i need is a challenge ki what should you have to do this and then somehow i will make it and then make it happen wow Yeah, like my basically interest wasn't really related to mechanical when i came here i wasn't really sure uh, what will i do here but as we went through like i got uh, some project related to my interest but it's also in the company which is based on mechanical so it's not really like you won't get to work related to your interest if you are working in mechanical company first of all i think maybe there is no such solution as bad solution or good solution you just have to think of it and then maybe if get some other perspectives too and at one point you will get a good solution to it so so you you, you want companies like us to be more innovative than what we are today or i think you have to be more worried because you have the capacity to be more innovative so that i think.